tribe, welcome to HDDC, HD Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and I'm 29 from the United Kingdom. This channel of mine is documenting my journey as a crochet designer, making moments and memories. Every week I'm aiming to bring out a vlog to you showing my inspiration behind my designs, the process in designing, the progress in my projects, my whips, my finished objects, and my granny square mania which is real and of course all crochet in yarny goodness so if you are a returning viewer hey 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 welcome back what's good what's happening and if you are brand new hi hello and welcome thank you for joining us here you can find me on social media instagram twitter facebook patreon pinterest is HG Designs Crochet. Um, I think I've just done a really good intro and then messed it up with my face just then. Do you know how many times I've recorded this intro today? About 80 and I'm not even exaggerating. And I told myself this is the last time otherwise we're not having a vlog. So I'm going to carry on. Okay, today I'm going to talk about all of these that are stacked up around me. But first of all, I just wanted to apologise for not doing the live vlog that I was originally going to do. There's been a real big, I don't even know how to explain it, but a, a real big event in my private life which has, um, that's taken priority over everything and I wasn't at home to be able to do that vlog and I really wasn't in the right state of mind even if I had been at home. Um, I will do another vlog live at some point because they're really enjoyable um, but for now until things settle with my private life I'm not going to commit to anything like that um, but when we do get round to it I want to do a um, granny along so we all sit and crochet a granny square or whatever granny project whilst we do the vlog live which I think would be really good and as granny squares are the only thing I'm pretty much making at the moment, I think it just ties in really nicely. Okay, so, into all of this, I don't know where to start. Um, let's start with granny squares. <laughs> granny squares are everything. I make so many granny squares and whenever I'm ill or something's going on, it's what I reach to to make. So it now means that I've accumulated seven, six or seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like there's another one. I've got six granny square, seven, there's one over there, seven granny square whips on the go. Six of which are items of clothing or accessories, one's a blanket. I've also got another two, I've got one definitely written up in my journal, another one that came to my mind this morning in the shower before I was getting ready for this, and another, I don't know, five or six just milling around in my head that I will probably write down at some point, and they are all Granny Square projects. The Granny Square is life right now. You've seen some of these projects in the various stages. You'd have seen pictures on Instagram as well. And so I was just going to bring it all together in this vlog and just show you what I've been up to and what I am planning on doing with them all. So you can see Risen, you can see my granny square jumper. This one's Promise. This is Enamoured. That's a bag I was working on. It's another bag that I'm working on. And I've got a blanket over there. Granny squares, y'all. Granny squares are becoming really, really popular again. I'm seeing a lot of them on Instagram. Um, Zines and Rogers posted their stories this morning about a article. See if I can get a link for you to a crochet maxi dress. £295, y'all. £295. Whew. That's a lot of money. And we can make them for ourselves. And I wonder if somebody would pay me £295 for my dress. But anyway, I've seen that. Um, crochet is making a big revival. As well as uh, I've seen Granny Squares on Lucy Moon Crochet and quite a few others. Zines and Rogers did the crochet, Granny, 
granny square crochet tie and just all across Instagram granny squares everywhere and they are my favorite thing ever so I just had to pull up and show you all of this I'm gonna just start with the stack and work my way over I've also got a granny square blanket on me right now because I'm a bit chilly I'm really sleepy it smells so good this is the granny square blanket that I made for my granddad when he went into a care home um, and when he passed away I was giving it back and it has his name on it and his room number because it used to get stolen by all the ladies my granddad Bob so this now lives on my bed and I actually sleep with it now and whenever I'm cold this is the one I get this is the one I love to snuggle under and I made it using these giant granny squares just using loads of random stash that I had and I joined it in black and I've said it a hundred times before that I'd wish that I'd made it in prettier colours because it is now a massive part of my life but I just love it for the colours that it is. I love the mash of colours, I love that it's granny squares, I love that it's edged in black and a lot of my projects I edge in black. So there's that one and there's this one. A classic granny square edged in black and joined is just everything. So I'm going to say snuggled under this where I talk to you about all the other granny squares. This one, you can tell, has been much loved and washed. It's really bobbly. Um, it was it, All the ends are coming out as well. It was put through an industrial washer. I don't know how many times. Um, but it means it is just really soft and really comfy. And my niece sleeps under my crocheted blanket. So she's got a pink one that I made for her birthday, last year her third birthday. She sleeps under that when she's at home and when she's here with me she sleeps under this. So I'm thinking I need to make another crochet blanket for my bed so that we've both got one to sleep under. Or I could just finish the giant navy granny square blanket that you've seen before that's upstairs. So we've got one each. Could do. Could just start yet another one. So I'm going to stop showing you these grannies and show you these. Okay. So you've seen this one before. This is my cropped granny square jumper that I called that I've named Risen. It is pink granny squares. Uh, they're four round granny squares edged in this pink. It's Stylecraft Dusty Rose. And then I've put this mesh detailing in there as well using some um, cream that I had in my stash. And then the back has got this dropped neckline hem. Yeah, neckline. And the only thing left to do on this is to put some ties on it here so that when it's on my shoulders it stays on nicely. It's the only thing left to do. And then I can write that pattern up. Oh, I need to photograph it as well. And then I can write this pattern up and release it. So that's risen. Oh, my throat. Drinking water in a Prosecco glass because I'm growing up like that. Um, I started making this back in March when I had tonsillitis and again I wanted to make granny squares and because I have so many blankets I decided to make granny squares that I can wear and I was originally going to wear this for Easter which is why it's got like an Easter colour scheme in there um, however we had a heat wave on Easter Sunday and it was something like 24 degrees, which is way too hot to wear this. So I didn't finish it and it wasn't worn. Um, and that is now, as I said, I just need to put the ties on it and then release it. And what I'm also going to do throughout this is say, and you're going to hear it a lot, if you want to test these then get in touch with me because I need testers for them all. Um, I don't have any testers lined up for this. So if anybody would like to test, I do my patterns from size um, extra small, which is my size. We're talking, I'm trying to think of the chest sizes now, all the way up to XXL. So sort of 
uh, I'll insert all of the measurements here because they're on my phone and I'm recording on my phone. But if you would like to test this, then get in touch with me. That is RISM. And I've done um, quite a few vlogs on this. There's actually three vlogs on RISM itself, which is why I'm not going to go into the details. Um, because you've seen it all. So if you really like this one and you're brand new, go back and have a look at them. There's um, one where I've sat and shown you the finished object and there's also two vlogs of me making it and I actually put the two vlogs out recently and the one finishing it came out first because I'm backwards. Um, and what I did in those vlogs is I recorded me making the square so I was time lapsing and every time I got to a design decision which basically means every time I frogged I recorded to show you so that you could see how much progress I made um, so I'm not going to go into all that now go back and look at those vlogs you'll see how much work went into this crazy amounts of work um, yeah I'm really liking that one I'm loving the pink that's in there then I'm gonna pick up this one this is my granny square jumper which I started, oh, you have to help me out here, tribe. I started this March 2018, yes, and it is granny square body, front and back, and then it's got plain sleeves, and I'm still yet to put the neckline on. <laughs> um. This one, again, they're all double knit yarn. That is my go-to yarn at the moment, always has been. But I did these squares using a three mil hook. They're three round squares and again, I then did the fourth round in the joining colour and did join as you go. I'm happy with all of it other than I'm not happy with the neckline. So what I'm gonna do is take this apart, take the sleeves off, take the sides apart and I'm going to add a bit more onto the back um, and then shape the neckline because at the moment the way it sits it's very off the shoulder and that's not the end result that I have in mind. So this one definitely needs some work on it. Um, it's been so long since I worked on it that I don't 100% remember what I did and my notes weren't the greatest um, so I'm likely to frog the sleeves entirely and have another go at them just so I can write the pattern up properly and also this trim I knitted but I actually quite like crochet ribbing so again I don't know whether to take that apart I might just finish this one and start another one entirely another granny square jumper um, and document that process and show you it much like I did with Risen because this isn't that far away but if I completely dismantle it to try and write the pattern it's going to take a long time so I, I am inclined to just get this finished and start another one because I've got plenty of joining colours I've got plenty of granny squares I could just make another one and I'm happy to have a couple of granny square jumpers in my wardrobe um, this one doesn't have a name either, it is just the granny square jumper and all of the others tell me their names as I'm making them but this one didn't which is another reason why I want to start a second one to see if a name comes to me. So again the squares I just use, I just stash dive to get the colours for the squares um, and then I just picked out a, a colour that I had about 400 grams of so I'd have more than enough to join and I really really like this colour it's like a, a purpley I can't, every time I explain this colour I say I can't explain it but I love it um, I like the sleeve detail and it's got a bit of granny stripe there so that's another one to finish and once it's finished start a second one so that I can get that pattern out to be tested and released um, I'm gonna say as well I've got a granny square cardigan and hoodie in my journal and in my head to work on so 
I just want to get these done, written up, so I can move on to even more granny squares. This one is amazing. I keep saying it's everything, and I say that about everything, but it really is amazing. Now there are a couple of ends because it isn't fully finished. This is my granny square jumper dress and I've named it Promise. Oh, and it's so warm. Um, I'm going to insert pictures of me wearing this. I started making these granny squares. As I said, there's been a really big event in my life just recently um, and it's meant quite a lot of time waiting around and needing to keep my hands busy so I started making these granny squares and I had this vision in my head of a granny square jumper a jumper dress a granny square jumper dress and as I was making it I could see people being like oh, it's a bit bright because they'd say what are you making I'm making a jumper dress and they'd be like oh it's quite bright but in my head I knew that I, how I wanted it to look and that it would look amazing so I persevered and I put it all together, not last weekend, the weekend before, and I actually wore it out when my family went out for um, some food. I wore this out in public, in all of its granny square goodness. Um, and I just wore it with some chunky heeled boots, and yeah, that was that. So it's called Promise. Um, I've been listening to a lot of TD Jakes, Bishop Jakes, and he's got a line in one of the first um, YouTube, what word am I looking for? One of the first episodes on his YouTube that I watched um, about being crushed, he said in that, that you have to go through the process to get to your promise. And I just, that's really resonated with me at the moment. Especially when you make granny squares, you have to go through the process of making them, sewing in the ends to get the end result, and then also just in life in general, we have to go through the process to get to the end promise. Um, so that's where the, word, the name promise came from for this. Um, this, I'm in love with. The only thing I'm gonna change is I've made the sleeves too long. So I am going to go back and take out an entire row so it actually ends at the end of my cause at the end of my wrist because at the moment it's more at the end of my knuckles um, and then I'm going to put um, an edging around the neckline and around the hem and then it is truly finished and this was so simple to make that I'm definitely going to get it written up um, and then this one will be released as well so, test a call. If you want to test this jumper dress for me, it's amazing granny square jumper dress, please holler at me so that I can um, put your name down. This pattern, I'm going to write up Risen and then I'm going to write up this one. I've got release dates in my head already. You've got plenty of time to get it tested. So let me know so I can get this over to you. It is a lot of work, but granny squares are amazing and the great thing is about granny squares is you can do them anywhere you go everywhere you go just take a stack of them and then when it comes to joining again I didn't find it that difficult because I did the um, join as you go method so I just selected a load of granny squares and added them as I went along if you make all your granny squares match it makes it even easier for you because I was really careful not to let my colours clash so I had to be a little bit selective. Um, but I'd definitely say it's a possible project and I made the majority of this waiting around um, for news. So, oh, oh, I'm loving the, the edged in black granny. So that's Promise. Um, just to tell you a tiny little bit about that, I used a four mil hook, it's double knit, um, weight yarn I don't know how many granny squares are in that yet but as soon as it's written up and the pet the pat the pattern the pattern is ready to go out I will do a vlog purely on that um, and tell you all about it and how many granny squares 
I did time how long it took me to make a granny square and it was something like eight minutes but then sewing in the ends took home about eight minutes as well so if you think each granny square took me like 15 to 20 minutes and there's all those granny squares wow 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 okay so we've blasted through risen promise granny square jumper that needs a name um which one next i've got this one you've seen this so many times this is called enamored and this is a giant granny square cardigan and it's just a huge granny square and then i've attached sleeves and front panels and this was one that i was adamant i was going to release and then i decided i didn't like it because granny squares aren't fashionable and i didn't do it whereas i love granny squares i don't care if they're not fashionable and no this isn't really anything that i would wear out of the house but i definitely only because of the colors but i will wear it a lot um so i'm going to rework this because i wasn't very happy with the front but i love that granny square um i'm tempted to take this apart and reuse the granny square i either buy more navy and redo the front or I take this granny square and turn it into another project and completely make a new enamoured. Um, so that needs some design tweaking and then that can go out as well. The fronts, I definitely wasn't happy with the fronts. I really like the sleeves but I didn't like my front panels. So I'm either going to have to get some more navy so I can use that, this square, or just do another one out of stash. And as I'm trying not to buy yarn, and as I have so much yarn, I'm tempted to just buy, I'm not tempted to buy, I'm tempted to use stash. Um, I just don't know what colours. I've got a really nice glittery pink though that I could use. Um, but then I would probably, I probably wouldn't make the square multicoloured, I'd make it all pink. And then I don't feel like it would show it to its best I don't know. Maybe I'm going to make multiple of those. Yeah, I can see me making a lot of those. In fact, I might start the back granny square today. I've got some grey. I could mix some grey in there and a little bit of pink. Pops of pink. And then I think I'm going to take this granny square out and use it like I've done with this. Now this giant granny square is going to become a bag and it's going to have those, I've got some clear glitter handles with that I've got circle handles on and it's going to become a bag like that and the only reason this has been paused is because I was thinking of lining it and I don't want to line it and so I abandoned it. I think I'm just going to finish it off without lining it. Um, it's just the thought of sewing at the moment is not really what I want to be doing. And I figured I'll do this one unlined and I'll make another one lined and then see how I feel about it. I did think of crocheting a solid panel this size but in four ply yarn and then attaching them together so that it would then be lined with crochet but in like a single stitch like this so that it wouldn't have the holes like this and then things wouldn't fall through but then the thought of making a huge panel that size out of crochet bore off so it just seems that this is going to just have some handles put on and then that's going to be done I'm loving the idea of having a lot of crochet bags at the moment because most of my outfits I wear and I'm not wearing it today, I always do this. I always say I only ever wear black and then I'm wearing something else. But I mainly wear black, bits of grey. I don't really wear bright colours. I tend to get my hair braided in bright colours. Um, so I just thought it would be really nice to have an all black outfit, which is what I went out in last night, but then a really bright bag like this. And I have to take a bag everywhere I go because I have allergies and so I carry EpiPens everywhere. 
how cute. I wouldn't mind having to carry them if I can put them in something like this. So this again, I stash dived. Um, I really wanted to use this neon pop and I've put it in the edging on either only on the two where the handles are going to be. And I just did a giant granny square um, and then I've edged it in single crochet um, and that's going to allow me to sew the handles on. And then that'll be finished and I'll probably just get one or two people to test that and then I'll just, that can get released easy. Probably won't even get that tech edited. I don't think it will need it. And I might take this granny square out and make another one of those. And maybe I will find some fabric and line it. Let me know what you think. Would you would you want this bag to be lined if you was to make one for yourself? Or are you happy to just for it to just be crochet? And I think those that say they want it lined would probably just go off and find out how to line it and then line it themselves. Maybe you'd just rather me get this project finished and then the lining can be a later edition. I don't know. And then one more project and again it's another bag. I want a granny square clutch bag. I just want the pops of colours. I'm thinking all black dress, black heels and then this. Um, so I've made, these are three round granny squares. I used a 3.5mm hook um, and what I've done is I've, I was introduced or introduced myself to the continuous join as you go crochet method. Um, so I have been making a lot of granny squares and I do find them, they can be a little bit time consuming. So I was looking at ways to make it a little quicker. And one thing I found was that if I sat and did all my centers and then all my second rounds, um, it, it was a lot more efficient and a lot more methodical. So I p was picking out balls from a bag of yarn that I had and I made like 20 centers and then I would then pick out another ball and then I'd do the second round and then I'd sew all of those ends in and then I did it for the next 20 and the next 20. And then I sat there and I, the first half of this, I did join as you go. So I attached that square to that square and that one to that one and snip the ends which then meant that for every square there's six ends because each colour gives you two ends and for the last half I did the continuous join as you go which means that the black join there was only an end where I started and I finished on the first square and all of the rest I just I didn't snip I just carried on and that saved so much time so I'd definitely be doing that in the future which is why I use my journal so much to plan things out and any granny square projects I'm definitely going to be planning out how many granny squares I need and how many rounds and getting them done in that way because then I've got more crochet time and I don't have to sew in as many ends so the way I've designed this it's going to be an envelope clutch bag like this um, so it's going to be three rounds there's going to be a popper stud here and then two rounds flap over to close it up and then it's just going to be I just hold my clutch bags I have seen people put um, like a strap and in one of my inspiration pictures I found there is a strap you put your hand through and it just helps keep it to keep help you keep hold of your bag and then this is going to be fringed and the reason this has been paused is because again I'm going to line it this one though I feel does really need to be lined because it's going to be a clutch bag and it's going to have smaller items in there. Um, it's going to have my bank cards, it's going to have little bits of makeup. Like I can see my eyeliner just disappearing through these holes. So I've got some black fabric which I'm going to cut out and that has to be lined. Um, and then, yeah, that's going to have, that needs testers and then that will be released as well. So I've just brought you a huge pile of granny squares to say I love granny squares, they're everything. They are a way of me keeping my hands busy, my mind busy. I can be very mindful and mindless when I'm making granny squares. It's a great way to sit with your thoughts, it's a great way to sit if you need some company, it's a good way to be able to pray um, and 
look at the amazing projects that I'm making with them. I think this is going to be a very firm favourite. And I've got so many more in my head. So if you want to test any of these projects that you've seen here, please comment below or find me on Instagram or Ravelry. I need to check my Ravelry. And let me know if you would be so kind as to test any of these Granny Square projects. Um, I have got a big push ahead of me to get at least five or, well there's six here, so to get all six written up. Um, and I want it so that I start the new year, every project I work on I write it up as I go along. That's the goal. Um, well actually the goal is, is that I already know what I'm going to do before I even start. I want to get these out the door. So if you can test, let me know. If you've enjoyed this vlog, let me know. If you are a Granny Square lover, give this a like, give this a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and come back for more Granny Square madness. And I will see you again soon. I'm aiming for every week. That is my goal. I have vlogs planned out so I shouldn't get caught out. But as I said, there is a lot going on at the moment. So if there is a gap in between, apologies, but real life takes precedent. But I will do my very level best to keep giving you little snippets because I think we all need Granny Square top-ups in life. It's just, uh, it just makes me so happy. Okay, I wonder how much yarn is here. I wonder how much yarn I've turned into Granny Squares. Okay, now I'm really sleepy. It is about half nine in the morning and I need to go pick my niece up. We're gonna have a day of adventures. So, I'm going to abandon all of this, go get my beautiful niece and have a wonderful day. I'm gonna make more granny squares. <laughs> okay, tribe, I'm off. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you again soon. Peace.